Hello! All right, you made it to clothespin idea number five. And this is a concept in which you can actually turn your clips into many dry erase boards. Now, remember in an earlier video, I talked about how you can have the name of the student on the front. Well, if you wanted to, you could use scotch tape and tape the back side of the clothespin. And you can also tape right right here, <laughs> sorry my clothespin was down, um, and what you can do is you use a dry erase marker and you can write words or even math problems or whatever, and the brilliant thing is is once you are done, you can actually erase it off and reuse it again. So uh, lots of different ways in which you can use this idea. Um, one thing that I'm thinking of in, in particular uh, is I had the word sun on there, uh, once again, have multiple clothespins that students can get and uh, maybe in this case write different words that can tur be turned into compound words so then the students have to go around the room and um, find the other clothespin that would make a compound word. You could also do this to um, help students learn past, present, and future. Uh, and once again, each clothespin would have a different, you know, a word that has the form of its past, present, future, except this time they're going to have to make groups of three uh, and find the three clothespins that go along with that. So I hope you have enjoyed this and been inspired for all the different things that you can do making lessons and doing things with clothespins.